Welcome back to another episode. Glad you could join me. Um, did you know that a lot of times you experience really bad chest pains, feeling very much like a heart attack? Um, you are actually having um, an acid reflux. And did you know that acid reflux many times um, are actually caused by uh, a very unknown, very little known bacteria called Helicobacter uh, pylori? Uh, H. pylori for short. Now, H. pylori bacteria is very common in the United States, uh, for example. And every year we have people rushing to the emergency room thinking that they actually have a heart attack because the acid reflux from that uh, infection is so hard that sometimes you, you literally think you have a heart attack because the acid that's refluxing from your stomach actually is burning an ulcer into your esophagus and by so doing when you each time you have that 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 reflux you feel a chest pain that feels so bad that is similar or reminiscent to to having a heart attack and lots of people rush to the emergency room every year thinking that they actually have a heart attack now how can you get contaminated by h pylori um, a lot of people are contaminated by fruits vegetables um, that are not washed or prepared properly or different forms of raw foods coming from uh, the farms especially guys and don't think for a minute that um, organic foods are are you know impervious or or are safe from actually being um, an infector of people yes a lot of um, organic foods are grown actually by uh, stuff like 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 cow manure or different animal manures or different stuff that um, actually different uh, um, uh, organic stuff that actually hold that bacteria in there so particularly organic foods you need to be careful washing them properly and um, ensuring that they're safe uh, to, to be eaten all right um, also untreated water in areas um, of the world and, and develop even developed countries where water can be contaminated or not treated properly and pushed out to people um, you know drinking that water can actually give you that kind of infection because it's coming from areas where where um, where bacteria are seeping into the drinking water um, raw foods and sewage as I said sewage that are nearby that may be contaminating our living space and we're not aware about aware of it um, may also be causing that that H pylori um, infection now this can cause um, uh, situations like GERD, what we commonly refer to as acid reflux, uh, GERD uh, spelled G-E-R-D, um, which is um, gastroesophageal reflux disorder. Uh, anyone getting really bad heartburn will know, um, uh, you know, that uh, GERD is not, uh, not, it's not a nice thing at all. You can develop from, uh, so from GERD you can develop um, ulcer in the, in the esophagus, in the stomach, in the intestine, and in the colon. Um, which can actually lead to, um, again, uh, cancer, uh, esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, um, intestinal cancer, uh, colon cancer. Um, also, some secondary uh, um, uh, situations can develop, which is like um, a sour, acidic breath. All right? When the acid reflux, uh, like when you're sleeping or laying down, the acid can reflux without you knowing and burn the, the enamel of... Uh, the um, of your teeth you know making your teeth look dull um, or in your mouth burning the inner the inner layer of your mouth creating a uh, ulcers inside your mouth um, it can create um, really bad uh, heartburn as I've explained before um, it can create uh, like a, a sensation of a lump in your throat a continuous lump every time you eat this lump is stuck in your throat and, and won't go away it can create a dull um, uh, awful feeling in your stomach like you want to take an, an acid or something an effervescent something to burp off because it does sit and there's a dull feeling in your stomach it can um, create really bad chest pain which is what I was telling you before so bad that you feel like you're having a, um, a heart attack uh, every year uh, thousands hundreds of thousands of people rush to the ER thinking they're having a heart attack because it feels very much like a heart attack when you have those chest pains from acid reflux you could have really bad constipation and not can go for days causing all sort of problems in to back up in your system and uh, create um, a, to a toxicity 
uh, situation in your, in your body where you can actually start seeing um, the, you know a bad skin developing uh, indicating that you are toxic uh, inside and you can have real bad bloating which um, will you know can trigger off spontaneous um, passing of gas you know um, flatulence uh, at, at weird times and really ugly smelling stuff because the acid is really building up uh, in your system. Now, how do they diagnose um, this this uh, um, this uh, H. pylori infection? They could do a blood test. Uh, easy blood test will tell. Um, they could do a stool test they, um, in the lab where they, they, they ask you to bring in samples of your stool and they check um, for a certain level of H. pylori um, build up in your stool. Um, they can actually do a breath test, have you blow into um, the a mechanism to test if, uh, if, the, if the bacteria is present. It is so prolific when, it, when, when you're infected that they can check your breath for the infection um, uh, of uh, that bacteria. Um, how do they treat this medically? Um, I have been infected with H. pylori before and what, what uh, my doctor did was to uh, prescribe a course of antibiotics. At the time, it was three antibiotics for me, three ugly um, tasting antibiotics um, to actually kill the bacteria, which end up killing a lot of good bacteria in the gut also, which causes other problems. I don't want to go into that right now. But um, they also prescribe uh, what you call a proton pump, proton pump inhibitors. Um, like Nexium or Prilosec or different type of antacid um, and, and acids. Uh, also, there's um, holistic treatment for those who, who dare to do that. I'm going to suggest to you, if you ever get, if you have acid reflux and you're not sure and it feels really bad and you're now getting sick to the point where you're passing black stool, which means that blood has been um, building up in your stool and, and it turns black, which is a really bad sign because you could now be leading moving from from the ulcer to now um, cancer um, if it gets to if it really gets to that point you need to see the doctor uh, forget forget holistic treatment you need to see a doctor but their holistic treatment that I know people do swear by and um, it, you know it's taking courses of uh, probiotics really strong probiotics or um, drinking baking soda when you get that that that, that flare up like a tiny spoon of uh, baking soda um, you know in a glass of water will help to neutralize the acid I'm told um, I've tried that before and it, it does work but I'm not prescribing anything for anyone to use because I'm not a doctor please do not take what I say as any prescription um, but yes that that occurs I'm telling you see your doctor pronto all right someone tells you your breath's smelling acidic and you're getting these heartburns and a really bad um, stomach uh, ailment each time you eat I, I say see the doctor all right digestive enzymes along with the probiotic and baking soda is also a good thing to allow the food to digest and allow it to, to move on um, and so forth now um, there are other things I could have um, tell you but I do I don't want you to rely on what I'm saying I pretty much want you to get the idea that um, you can get a H. pylori bacteria infection from raw foods, unwashed, improperly washed vegetables, eating at certain restaurants all the time because a lot of restaurants, you go there and they'll prepare the salad without washing it. I'm telling you, there are restaurants that will do that because not all restaurants use prepackaged um, uh, vegetables that are being pre-washed. Uh, some of them will rush and prepare these things, peel off a layer or two of the lettuce and then just chop it up, put it in a plate and serve you as a salad. All right, and so we have to be mindful of that, that that can happen and be very careful of uh, um, when we're eating, um, eating at certain restaurants. All right, hope I've given you um, uh, some useful information. Uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe and tell someone about my video. Thanks again for watching.